India recording its highest ever temperatures, Delhi hitting 52.3 degrees Celsius. Tankers like this are the only source of water for thousands of people in Bengaluru. 2024 will go down in history as one of the hottest years. As temperatures kept soaring, Indian cities started to go dry. But this facility in Bengaluru continues to bottle nearly 4,000 litres of water every single day without tapping into groundwater, a lake or a river. Do you know where this water comes from? Uh, it comes from air all around you. We were studying at National Institute of Technology, Calicut, and there was a nearby river which used to supply us water. But because of the heat wave uh, that year, uh, the river dried up and there was no water supply in the college. So college authorities used to bring these water tankers and we were just rationed two to three buckets per day. So we lived with that for almost three to four weeks. If the place like Kerala can face such a drought, what would it happen for the rest of the world? So this question became the triggering point for us. So then we started thinking about what could be the alternative source of water. So the atmosphere holds the largest amount of water and it is just invisible to our eyes. So could we capture that became the question for us. Then uh, we started experimenting uh, what are the ways the water uh, in, that is present in the air that can be converted into a drinkable water. With this simple yet daunting idea in mind, Urvu Labs was set up in 2019. The existing solutions for air to water technologies at that time were modeled on the same principle as air conditioning. An air conditioner cools down warm air using a refrigerant. As part of this process, water droplets are formed through condensation and discharged. Uh, now the problem with this technology is it consumes high huge amount of power and also is very much dependent on high relative humidity. So it works well in more you know coastal areas, humid areas, but in interior lands, even dry areas, this technology starts failing and your energy consumption per liter goes very high. So that was the, some of the problems we saw and we didn't see a roadmap where this solution can come down to very affordable numbers. Two years after setting up, the Urvu team found an answer, a technology that converts humidity in the atmosphere and turns it into water, sustainably and without harming the environment. The answer lay in desiccant-based technology. Now, desiccants are materials which readily absorb moisture from the air. One very common example you would know is of silica gel. So when you buy footwear or a pair of electronics, you see a small pouch of silica gel and the materials behave in a way that they will absorb moisture from the surrounding air. So we use a similar material which is a calcium chloride salt solution. Now the most interesting part, the magic of turning thin air into water. It all starts here. This huge machine is an absorber. Inside the structure, a solution of calcium chloride is continuously passed through the pole rings. Pall rings are cylindrical structures. Its geometry holds and transports the liquid, but at the same time, it increases the surface area of the solution. When the calcium chloride or the desiccant interacts with the ambient air, it absorbs moisture from the air. The desiccant solution is then pumped to a separate desorber unit. Here, the solution is heated to between 60 and 65 degrees Celsius by a heat pump. This heat can come from a variety of renewable energy sources like solar heat, uh, waste heat from industries, biomass waste. We can even convert solar photovoltaic to heat using a heat pump and power this device. The heating of the solution makes the air humid, almost like steam. The steam then passes to an air-cooled condenser where it turns into water. The water which is produced in this method does not contain any minerals, unlike the drinking water we are so used to. In the next step, Essential minerals like magnesium, sodium, potassium, iron and zinc are added. Now the water we collect from air has no minerals. It's almost like ultra pure water. Uh, but the advantage of that is, is twofold. One is if there are applications like pharmaceuticals, distilleries, manufacturing, where you need this ultra pure water, you can use it directly without any need for further processing or purification. Uh, also, if you want to use it for drinking water purposes, then we add the required minerals. And it's a blank canvas, so you can add you know, any kind of formulation. We have developed certain copper and zinc enhanced formula. You can also make a variety of you know, other beverages where you can have vitamins to protein enhanced. So a lot of things are possible upon the high quality water which we produce. 
the mineral rich water is now ready to be bottled. In a major push towards eco friendly packaging, Uruvu uses glass bottles which can be reused. The bottles that you see here have been returned to the plant. Before they are refilled, they are cleaned using a high pressure jet. Next, they are filled with water and sealed in a process that is entirely automated. The bottles are then passed through a quality check to detect any particles or impurities. Once they pass the quality check, these bottles are packaged and dispatched. The facility in Bengaluru produces 4000 litres of water a day at a cost of 3 to 4 rupees per litre. This is high when compared to other packaged mineral water which is produced at a cost of 20 to 60 paise per litre. Like any technologies, uh, like how it has developed, the cost was al always higher in the earlier days and slowly it gets lower. Similarly, with our technology also, at this point, the water is on a higher stage and hence, the, even when the places that we are serving, we are only serving to uh, premium restaurants and hotels. So every restaurant are looking for a unique item that they can cater, that is only special for them. And uh, sustainability is one of the angle which all these restaurants and hotels are highly looking at and even the consumers are looking at. So that brings us to the midpoint where we can uh, set our product to start launching in this segment in the starting days. And slowly, slowly, while the cost of the water comes down, we bring it to every other market as well, right to your homes and to your hands. More than 16.3 crore Indians do not have access to this, clean drinking water. For them, finding portable water is a struggle in itself. With climate change and erratic rainfall, groundwater and other sources of water are depleting at an alarming rate. New innovations and technologies to generate and find water from other sources are desperately needed. Unlike groundwater which takes ages to replenish, air moisture gets replenished naturally in 8 to 10 days. Solutions like water from air could make a world of difference when implemented on scale. At Deccan and Herald, we want you to be a responsible citizen. Have you made any changes to your lifestyle to conserve water? Let us know in the comments below. Share and like this video for better reach, subscribe to Deccan and Herald's YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications for more videos.